Already Rick's Mind the Morning Show, seven minutes. Seven minutes after the hour, y'all. Hey, uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that watched Ricky Smiley for real. Woo! Yesterday on TV One, uh, Spirit, uh, Spirit is here. Thank you, Spirit, for all that you've done and contributed to the show. Oh, please. It's my pleasure. I and uh, Hair Crack and Brett, uh, thank everybody. Uh, thank everybody. Roger Bob, uh, Miss H, Kathy Hughes, and uh, Alfred Liggins, and uh, uh, Brian, uh, Brian Siegel. Uh, from, you know, the president of TV One. Thank everybody. I, I just, you know, I just like to try to find a way to to, to use some of my some of this success uh, to kind of find a way to kind of give God, you know, God the glory. First of all, thank y'all for sharing that post that we did on Facebook last week, which is up to a few millions. And I just want to inspire people, you know, uh, through some of the stuff that we're doing. You know, either we can use this radio vessel as an opportunity to try to get money and do club gigs and get as much money as you can and chicks and whatever but we try to use it to try to do good with the Ricky Smiley Foundation and just where somebody could be blessed and inspired by it because we have to lead by by example and I'm gonna tell everybody out there you know God when God give you these opportunities come on it's a test mm. when he give you these opportunities he give it to you just to see what you gonna do with it because the Bible said, if you be faithful over just a few things, I will make you ruler over many. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Haircrack and I sat in a small studio in Valley View Mall in Dallas, Texas. The two of us on the radio, we did the first song we played was a what? A gospel song. No doubt. We started out, we started out the Ricky Smiley Morning Show when Steve Harvey gave it to us. And we started out with one gospel song. Wow. I know it's a hip hop station, but we're gonna play this gospel song and we're gonna honor God first. Now, everything that we're doing with the Ricky Smiley for real, with Dish Nation, having the bigger studio, having a, a, a syndicated radio show, not just only, and God tested us. So we got in the community in Dallas and did stuff with the mayor and the city council, and we fed people. We locked people up when they stomped that little boy. We bought headstones we bought caskets for people that couldn't uh bury their kids we paid light bills we paid water bills see god see when your boss don't see you and your program director don't see what you're doing god see you god honors your work it, it, he sits high and he look low and then he know why you do what you do he know all of your interior motives he know every hair on your body so everything that you do don't do it with an interior motive do it from your heart you understand what i'm saying now, we sitting up here in a small studio in Dallas, Texas, and, and, and we got in there and we grind and we work very hard and we help people and we made people laugh, we motivated people, we saved lives, we got people going to church, we got people going to Bible study. Uh, Pastor uh, Freddie Haynes, Friendship West Church, and uh, Pastor Haynes got involved in some other local pastors, and Pastor, Pastor Slater yeah. got involved and prayed for us and prayed on the radio and used a hip hop radio station as a vessel to play hip hop music, but also acknowledge God. Come on. Now, here we go 10 years forward. We sit up here in a big studio mm. that we shoot a TV show in. Mm. We were spending our own money to try to shoot a TV show when we just had the idea. And now we finna this studio right here is too small. Now we looking for a bigger studio. Ooh. And we have Dish Nation. Look and him. we have Ricky Smiley for real. Look at him. And I'm talking, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm saying that is whatever you do on your job, wherever you are in your life, Come on, Ricky. you got to do good. This can't be about you. You got to serve. When God puts you in a position to serve, you got to serve. Even though I'm a comedian, I'm on TV or whatever. My job is to make people laugh. I can't begin to tell you how many people walked up to me and said, hey, Ricky Smiley, you know what? I buried my husband two weeks ago. I don't know what to do, but I came to your comedy show and I listened to your radio show and you inspired me and you made me laugh. A girl was on a bridge one morning. Y'all remember that? Finna jump off a bridge and commit suicide and she called us and we sent a car to pick her up to bring her up here to the radio station because her husband had been abusing her and knocked out her teeth and everything. And we sent her to a shelter around the corner and took her around there. This is the type of, I'm not bragging, but I'm saying this to you where you can get out here and let's do God's work and do God's will. Yeah, we love hip hop. I love Lil Wayne. I'm going to be at Birthday Bash. I'm going to turn up, all that kind of stuff. I love old school hip hop. I love I love everything that comes with hip hop music. I like to party. I like to dance. But, but, you love to serve and none of them artists woke me up this morning. All right. Come on. None of them artists gave God, but God. 
I'm telling y'all, man, you, you, you got to get inspired. You need to be inspired by other people's blessings, man. When I sit up here and watch, Steve, I remember when Steve Harvey made $500 opening up for Carrot Top. You know what Carrot Top, the white comedian oh, yeah, with the yeah, orange yeah, hair? Yeah, yeah, the prop comic. Yeah. And to see him go from that to a mogul, and people, be, you know, it's like, you have to you you have to be blessed by somebody else's success. You can't be a hater. You will never be blessed if you can't be happy for somebody else. Come on. You got to be happy. You got to cheer folks on. You got to go to other folks' events. You got to be genuinely in your heart happy for somebody else. I be every time Steve get a new show, I'll take off in my house and start running because that's my friend. Because I know if God will do it for him, he will certainly do it for me. And if it weren't for Steve Harvey, it wouldn't even be no Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Steve Harvey, Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer has been very kind to me when they didn't have to. Don't nobody have to do nothing for you. Don't nobody owe you anything. Somebody said, well, won't you ask Steve to go on his show? I'm not going to ask Steve Harvey to go on his show because he was nice enough to give me the morning show. That's enough. If Steve Harvey don't do nothing else for me, I'll go over his house and lay across his couch and watch TV and talk trash to him. That's my friend. That's true friendship. Amen. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, he, don't, he, don't, he don't owe me anything. Amen. When you look at other folks, but you look at Kevin Hart. I'm happy for Kevin Hart. I'm happy for Cat Williams. I'm happy for Mike Epps. I'm on stage hosting the show, cheering Mike Epps on. Mike Epps, let's go. Mike Epps got a sitcom coming because mine coming, another one coming, and some more stuff coming. I talk, I ran into Will Packer yesterday. Will Packer is a big time producer, did right along too with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. You know what I said to him? He said, he said I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. I said, hey brother, you ain't got to put me in no movie. You don't owe me anything. My job is to promote, see you got to understand where you are. My job as a radio personality and being part of the media is to promote Will Packer's movie mm -hmm. or, or to promote two chain song mm -hmm. i don't have to be a part of it you have to understand what your job is mm -hmm. so you don't owe me anything you are nice enough to bring kevin hart and ice cube in here because that's a good look for the ricky smile the morning show to have kevin hart you got to have the right attitude and look at things from the right perspective because the devil will try to throw you off say uh Will Packer got all these movies out here and he ain't even put you in that way. He, well, how am I do a movie and do Ricky Smiley for real and be a good father and be this nation? It's gonna come not in my time, but in God's time. They that wait. You understand? Come on. You gotta you 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 gotta be patient, man. You gotta you, Psalms 27 to tell you, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And 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 he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Isaiah 40, 31 also tell you, hey, but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and they shall, they and not, they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. And not what, Ricky? And not faint. Come on. I'm telling you, you got to have the right attitude because your attitude determines your altitude. You got to be happy for other folks. Yours coming, God is rich. The father that we serve, he owns everything. If he do it for me, why wouldn't he do it for you? But you can't ask God to go hard for you and you ain't doing right. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be wrong and then ask somebody to do something right for you. You can't call the police because somebody stole your cocaine. <laughs> if cocaine is illegal. Right. You gotta be right. You gotta treat people right. You got to be fair to people and you got to get on your knees and you have to pray and ask God to give you strength. I want everybody to look at from where Ricky Smiley Morning Show started from, where I started from my career. I grew up in the projects, 912B, 44th Place North, 35212, Birmingham, Alabama, hmm. two bedroom project. To this, you think it was me, Hallelujah. but God. And we just want to give him praise this morning because I want everybody in their car to get excited, get motivated, turn your lights on right now and blow your horns because your day come is coming. Your time is coming. He going to do it for you. You better go to Bible study on Wednesday and go to church. And, and like I say every week, you better get that word where you can recognize some of this stuff because the devil will get you in the wrong attitude and the wrong mindset. And you walk around here with an attitude with expectations, thinking somebody owe you something and somebody's supposed to do something for you. 
Get your eyes off a man and keep your eyes on God. He's awesome. And that's why we serve him and give him some, some praise every day. And I ain't doing this to go viral. I've been wanting to do stuff like this on the show. But I had to use this because everything we did at Ricky Smiley for real, some people, hey, I'm going to keep it real with you. Come on. There's some people didn't want the show. They said that the show wasn't going to be successful. Mm. And oh, yeah. Every- oh, yeah. Look at it. Trending number two on Twitter. Believe in everything that you do. Hair crack, I believe in you. You dropped your new record the other week. I'm all on your Facebook, man. Appreciate I'm that, I'm like bro. your big brother, man. Hair crack, come to work every day with a good attitude, willing to do anything and go above and beyond the call of duty to do anything, to make anything work. Tired, got kids. You know, I'm talking about just be, be grinding, brother. I'm talking about from day one. I'm like, who is this dude from New York? They done paired me up. We don't know nothing about this dude. <laughs> and he has been the biggest blessing of my life. Amen. Thanks. On this radio show, when I'm tired of sleeping and don't feel good and don't feel like performing, that brother said, hey, man, go ahead, take your 10-minute 10, 10 nap. I'm going to go ahead and play three songs, and I got you on that tease. I'm going to go ahead and talk in your place. Hey, brother, how you feel? Like, he can tell when I be in a bad mood. Hey, Rick, you all right? It's, and he'll start a conversation about something to get my mind off of whatever is on. God put people in your life. God sent Brett over here, a, a loyal sister, and love you and scratch your back and rub your back and <laughs> laugh and talk. Just... <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, the reason you have not is because you ask not. It's just that simple. Mm. We want to give God praise this morning for everything that we're doing and for the success of the Rick Smiley Morning Show. But I want to also give God the praise for what he's about to do in your life. He finna bless a whole bunch of y'all, man. And y'all remember the message from last week. You got to let some people go because eagles soar. You, an eagle is a bird and so is a chicken. You don't ever see an eagle down here eating off the ground with the chicken and you ain't never went to church's chicken and bought eagle meat. Mm. <laughs> it's funny, but it's deep. Think That's about real. it. Think about it. I'm telling y'all, man, God getting ready to move in some of y'all life and I hope that this word is an encouragement to you and we thank God for every single thing and thank God for the success of this show and we hope that somebody's inspired by it. And somebody is blessed by this. Get on out there and do your thing. And last thing I'm going to say, here we go. Here's the big one right here. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is only the extra. Ordinary, extraordinary. The extraordinary are the people that come to work early and leave late. The extraordinary are people that don't make no excuses for anything except responsibility for all their actions. Wonderful, extraordinary people. It's a difference. If you want extraordinary blessings, start doing extraordinary things. Huh? Yeah. that. Beyonce be, Beyonce be up here at 6 o'clock in the morning, sometimes leave at 8 o'clock at night. Ain't getting paid for it, just dedicated and committed. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. I thank you. If don't, if don't nobody else thank you at this radio station, Beyonce Ella wishes God sits high and looks low and she take care of her grandmother and raise her sisters yes. and put them through college. Yes. Huh? Come on. God see your efforts and see your work. He see what you doing. You finna be something big, man. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not a pastor. I just appreciate all y'all. I appreciate all of you listeners and this is from my heart and I want to say to everybody in the car that's listening right now, I want you to be inspired this morning. Let's go. Let's make some great things happen. 2006. We ain't on. finna wait to 2017. It's finna happen right now. Right now. now. There it is, y'all. 21 after the hour. Ricky Smiley Foundation. Uh, uh, y'all can hit us up at RickySmileyFoundation.org if you ever want to uh, help us do some positive things in the community. Hey, Spirit is here. She's up next. Let's do it. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It's the Ricky Smiley.